Next story takes us to the situation in place, taking place in Syria, where the people there have held mass rallies to show their support for President Bashar al-Assad and the army. Thousands of demonstrators gathered in the capital, Damascus, and its countryside. Now they express support for their president and the Syrian army forces in their fight against terrorism and foreign-backed insurgents. Pro-government demonstrations were also held in the western city of Homs and its countryside. Syria has been gripped by deadly unrest since 2011. According to the United Nations, thousands of people have been killed and millions of others displaced during the violence. Well, let's cross over and uh, to Beirut and get in political analyst, Mr. Abraham Musavi. Mr. Musavi, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, Mr. Musavi, let's look at the situation. Uh, we, we're seeing now, again, more and more uh, pro-Syrian uh, government demonstrations taking place. One, your perspective, why we're seeing it at this time. Does it have to do with uh, perhaps certain areas becoming more secure, or how do you see it um, in, in general? Absolutely, you're totally right. Actually, recently there have been a lot of developments in the battlefield where the Syrian governmental army, the Syrian official army, has been able to make a lot of achievements on the military level. Uh, the army has been able to, bl to uh, direct devastating blows to the Takfiri insurgents, to all the military groups, foreign groups. We all know by now that more than 80 different nationalities from all over the world have come to fight in Syria against the Syrian people and against the Syrian army. And the uh, conspiracy is very, is very uh, open, is very clear in Syria. It has always been the case that the Syrian people have supported their government. And we still remember during the onset, the beginning of the crisis, millions of people used to come to the street in order to voice their support to their president and to the Syrian government. It was one year ago when the intelligence services were saying that if Bashar al-Assad is going to run into presidency, 70% of the Syrians would support him. It is recently, only a week ago, that the foreign minister of the United States of America, John Kerry, said that the Syrian president is doing a lot and have many points against his enemies. So here you're talking about a conspiracy that has come to a point where everybody knows what's going on, especially the Syrian people. How come? More than 80 different nationalities, Chechens, Europeans, Americans, even from Australia, from the remotest part of the world, come to Syria to fight the Syrian government. I mean, so you see, this is something that is being very clear to the people, and they want to voice their support to their president. I believe we are going to witness more and more of this kind, and with uh, more population on the ground coming to voice their support behind the Syrian government, and even to to dictate or to exercise the pressure on their president to run for the coming elections. Do you think that we're seeing uh, that we're getting close to the end with the situation in Syria? Uh, we have heard, uh, as you talked about, uh, Kerry and other American officials, uh, perhaps not totally on the record, but uh, uh, definitely uh, uh, off the record reports, basically saying that their, their policy in Syria has failed. Do you think that we're getting close to the end of this tragic situation in Syria? If I want to be optimist, I will say we are getting close, but not very, very close, to tell you the truth. We still have uh, something to do. You're talking about many governments who have not been totally convinced that they have to clamp down their support. I mean, how can we uh, envisage or expect a soon end to what's happening of a tragedy in Syria when the U.S. administration is still sending advanced weapons to the insurgents. Okay. At one hand, they say that they are afraid of the extremists and the insurgents and the takfiri and the terrorists. And on the other hand, they give the weapons. I believe we still have time before we can be optimist at this point. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being with us, uh, Mr. Abraham Musavi, political analyst uh, out of Beirut.